part of me knew this was going to come eventually, but it's finally happening. Nintendo Wi-Fi, after being after going for I don't know maybe near nearly nine years, is getting shut down for every single game that uses it, including many with players still on them. I don't know, but let me just tell you what this is, how big this is, and how it affects you. Basically, according to Nintendo's website, straight from their mouth, they're removing online play and matchmaking, leaderboards and tournament data, sharing of user-generated content, as in ghosted user-created levels before the event, user exchange of in-game items or characters such as trading or the global trade station in Pokemon, free add-on content or downloads, so games that offered free downloadable content like, let's just say certain ones, those are going to be taken off for the Wii, the DS, and the DSi. So what does this mean? Let's just say many big games with people still on them, such as Mario Kart Wii, Smash Brothers Brawl, Animal Crossing, uh, Mario Kart DS, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, or Platinum, or G Generation 4 and 5, and some games as recent as only 1 or 2 years old, like Pokemon Black and White 2, are getting taken offline. <laughs> now, here's the thing. This is kind of a dumb move considering that you can still buy DS's and Wii's compatible hardware. I mean, you can go to your GameStop, buy a Wii U, which plays all your Wii games with Wi Fi. You can buy a DS, I mean, 3DS, which plays all your DS games with Wi Fi. I just woke up. And not only that, but there's a pretty big list of comprehensive games being pulled. So basically, in a nutshell, every single 3DS game, I mean DS game and Wii game, not 3DS game and Wii U game, so those are fine for now until they decide to pull the servers eventually, which, take your bets, it's already going to happen. It, which, they're already pulling them down and some of them aren't even that old. And every single game is going down, not just say Nintendo's game, like with the PS2. Let me just explain this. Here's what's still online that's not anymore. That outlasted um, the Wii and DS. Unreal Tournament. You can still play that online. You can't play, uh, you won't be able to play Diamond and Pearl or Platinum online anymore after that date. Um, Quake. You can still play that online. You can't go on and say play Pokemon, um, I mean, Pokemon, uh, Bow Revolution Online anymore. You can still play, um, Quake 2 Online, and you can't, and Quake 3, and other games that series. You can't play, um, let's just say, um, Mario Kart DS Online anymore after that date. You can play, um, uh, Halo 1 Online. You can't play, uh, Mario Kart Wii Online anymore after that date. You can play, um, sorry, I'm kind of icky ish today. You can play, um, uh, you can play, um, Call of Duty 4 online. You won't be able to play on Black and White 2 online anymore after that date. You'll be able to play, um, uh, you'll be able to play, um, with an emulator brawl. You won't be able to play on the real thing after that date. You'll be able to, um, see, see where I'm getting at. There are games that have been online far longer than Pokemon and, uh, Mario Kart have, and Nintendo's already pulling the plug on the servers. Every DS game with online functionality is going. But, what will be going is the Wii Shop channel and the video on demand services. So if you still use your Wii as a Netflix box, that'll still be up. If you play Call of Duty on the Wii, that'll be down, but Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, that'll still be up. And here's the thing. 
As far as I know, there are no private servers, no system link tunnelers, and no, um, none of that kind of stuff for the Wii. At all. I haven't seen people make, um, Wii private servers. I haven't seen make DS private servers. I haven't seen them make a DS, uh, wireless play tunneler like with the PSP. I haven't seen any of that. So until somebody makes one of those, if they do, you're out of luck if you own a DS. And that's all I have to say really because honestly, considering how you can still buy the systems and how it's not like those games are, are too old, I mean especially in the case of uh, Black and White 2, you can still walk into a GameStop and there'll be piles and piles of Wii games and DS games you can't play anymore considering how there are even some PS2 games you can still play online. I really don't understand it, but please understand it's Nintendo. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and honestly, I'm not really too keen on the idea either. That's all I can really say about this. Oh, and let me put links in the description to everything, like everything with the Wi-Fi, all their news, and of course, some games which still have people on them, thanks to GameSpy, because here's a fun little fact. Nintendo outsourced their whole Wi-Fi to GameSpy, of all people. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.